Hi YouTubers, we're going to be talking today about crystals that break for various reasons and why this might happen. This in front of us that we're looking at here is a cluster of heat treated amethyst that appears to look like citrine. Now the cluster itself is in fine condition. I haven't had it very long, probably about a week or so. And we did notice when we bought it and put it home in its new location that one of the little side bits just like this here on the side was wobbly like you might find a wobbly tooth in a child or a teenager they're still held by the roots you can tell that it's not just going to fall out so it was still firm in the cluster you, I would come and sort of just give it a light wobble every day and it still felt quite firmly entrapped on the cluster. So I'd been watching this closely since I had purchased it and then this morning when I came into my office where this cluster sits, there on the table was a broken off piece. So overnight it had completely broken off by itself in its own accord. And you can see it quite clearly there. And then next to it are two smaller bits that have also fallen off with it. Now this happened naturally on its own. So it's quite apparent that crystals will, with, the, with their own energetic vibration and enough energy that's passing through the stone, create a shift that it's ready to pass off a new piece of it to either be given away or put in another area to pass along the same energetic vibration of the original cluster or the original geode. So it's nothing to be concerned about when your crystals do go through this phase. It's actually a little bit of, it's like, um, again we refer back to the children or teenagers, it's like them growing up and moving out and going on their own. They're establishing their own energetic vibration. There's probably enough power surging through the main core of the crystal so that the smaller ones can jump off and activate themselves. So that's one of the reasons why we can get crystals that break. Another reason can be they can be dropped or damaged one way or another and then they can splinter off and shard off. And again it's becoming quite apparent that when this happens it's just how it's meant to be. So if we look at our crystals in whatever form they take, even if you might have purchased one and it looked so perfect, you thought I'm going to have that one, and then for some reason it breaks or shatters or, get a, or gets a fracture, we just have to say, okay, that's meant to be. I have an example of one here that was absolutely perfect when I bought it, and I particularly loved it for its perfection. And then a few months later, I noticed this damage in it. There's a chip on the top, there's a fracture going through it, which was a shame because it was a beautifully crafted crystal. But I came to accept that that was what the energies of it were going to become. That this was just how it was functioning now. It doesn't necessarily mean it detracts from the crystal, it is just adding its own particular personal vibration. So it's more about, it's not us who decide how the crystal's energy is going to work, it's actually the energy of the crystal. So I hope that helps any of you who might be asking, why do your crystals break or do they break naturally? Like this little chap. And the answer is, yes they do, absolutely, for their own reasons. Kia kā. peace everyone, thanks for watching.